Hey folks, it's time for Twip Pro Photo Critique number 78. This is Twip. Hey, welcome back to another Twip Pro Photo Critique. This is critique number 78. I'm here with the mastermind of criticism, Mr. Troy Miller here <laughs> to talk. You're just waiting to use that? That just came into my head, man. I don't know where it came You feel bad now. The mastermind of criticism, the critic extraordinaire. To, uh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about some good ones here this week. You, you see the submissions, right? This week's topic was food. Yep. And we've, you know, the, the, the Twip Pro community never ceases to disappoint. You know, there's, this is true. This there's is some true. serious takes on food in there, some positive. Uh, one that I could even go so far as to say is negative. So it has to do with <laughs> flies, and we'll talk about that. <laughs> Talking about Peter again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Peter, <laughs> Peter Levshin and his his flies. So we'll talk about that. Lord of the flies. All right, let's dive in, man. There's a lot of good yep. stuff to dive into. You ready? Oh, before we do that, this is a special week. Yes. This is a special week. As we record this, it is Monday, the 12th of August, which means if I do my math right, carry the one minus 17 <laughs> square root. That means in five days from now. It is F64 Live time, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Tell us about F64 Live. Is everything, you know, I feel like the orchestra is assembling and people are tightening their bowstrings and, yeah. you know, it's people anarchy backstage, getting ready. What What is it like in the in five days, T minus five? What does it look like? Uh, there's a whole lot of insanity, really, right now. Um, luckily, my wife, Marty, she's downstairs handling some of that craziness right now. Uh, so, you know, we're finalizing models. We're finalizing travel. Uh, we've got food finalized. So, you know what? It's it's ready. It's ready to kick off. It's going to be what it's going to be. I'm just going to relax and enjoy it. Uh we're going to have we're going to have a great time. So, be a leaf on the wind, Troy Miller. Be a leaf on the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be the Hulk. Don't, Don't be the Hulk. Be the Hulk. Be the Hulk. <laughs> Don't be the Hulk. You know, you're not the Hulk. It's going to be good. You're more, you're more like, you know, Thanos at the end of Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's what you'll be like after the conference is over. It's just a dust flowing, flying in the wind. Yeah, that's what. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's it's good. We've got we've got lots of we've got lots of exciting students coming in. The instructors all have amazingly filled classes. So, it, it, weather's going to be good. Last year it was like a hundred and three or something. This year it's supposed to be like eighty nine. So. Uh, we've got gourmet ice cream showing up. We got killer models. It's oh, gonna just cool. be a good flowing day. That We're gonna, you and I are gonna good. be running around doing videos of people. So yeah, for sure. I'm bringing my my gear with me. You know, I wanted to bring that DJI uh, Ronin SC, that little gimbal. Um, <laughs> but you know how DJI is; they don't like to ship things. So it's still, <laughs> every day I check the order status on DJI's page, and it says processing, processing. Like how long? It's been a month. How long does it take to process anyway? I yeah. So yeah. anyway, I'm bringing that thing back there. You, see, you know what that is? That's the 3D camera. That is a 360 camera. Yes. 360. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, the 360 camera. Yeah. yeah, that will be on stage with me. So you know, as you watch me, you will be recorded during the keynote speech because I'm recording <laughs> it in 360. Yeah, no. that should be good. All right, yeah. let's dive in, man. Let's dive in. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, we are on Twit Pro right now, and the first submission is from Kai. Oh, let's go back and read his caption. Kai says, I assume we all agree ice cream counts as food. F1.4 is my favorite yeah. flavor. Natural light portrait. I have a whole series of kids stuffing their faces with food. I should probably do something with that. Yeah, man, post that. Look at that. I dig it. That is I called happy it. right there. That's also called Sugar Rush. Yeah, yeah. My, my Look at that depth is, of field, though. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is fantastic, yeah. At 1.4, everything looks good. I love it. Yep, <clears throat> I yep. shoot a lot of shallow depth of field, so um, I'm totally in with that. I love the composition, the clean background. We really have no distractions going on in here, which is fantastic. You can just <clears throat> read it right away. I love the, you know, the ice cream dripping down the cone, and, you know, that would be good. Yeah, that's great. And F one dot four, everything is a background, right? This is true. <laughs> oh no, this is absolutely true. And if if you've never shot it, you know, one four or you know wider, 
um, you're really missing out because mm -hmm. you could literally shoot into a crowd of people and it just becomes this wonderful, you know, muted color. Or you can shoot into, you know, a concrete wall or a green dumpster. It doesn't matter. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, it just becomes a, a, a mesh of a mash of color and circles of confusion. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I dig this, Kai. This is really cool. Good shot, man. All right, moving right along. Armando's up next, Armando Brook. Armando says, this photo was taken in uh, Cagist or Seagist. There's a bigger South American fresh market with more than 7.5 million square feet. Okay. These guys are opening jackfruit. I heard jackfruit doesn't really smell that good. Is that true? Have you ever had jackfruit? I haven't, no. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know. I have never had it. I, I, I remember I worked somewhere in my memory. It says that this has a, uh, an interesting odor to it. If anybody in the community knows, let us know. Is, is there something strange about jackfruit we should know? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it jacked up? <laughs> but you know what I like about this shot? I like the muted. I like the earth tones of the ground and then the, the, obviously the jackfruit and all that. And then the non-earth tones of the blues and the, the stainless steel of the table and the knives that they're using. I love the contrast of, of earth tones and non-earth tones in here. Yeah, it's got a really, really wonderful color palette. Um, you know, it, and r immediately your eye is drawn right to the subject, which I, what I would say is the fruit. And then you see the workers. And I just love the candidness of their body positions and everything. I would I would probably crop off the right side a little bit. Um, I see kind of what he's done. Maybe maybe Armando's tried to balance that in there, but I think that create a little more tension, crop that right off, right up next to the table, leave a little bit of space, mm -hmm. and and go with it. This is definitely this is definitely an amazing image. This is one of my favorite for sure. I love yeah. the 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 uh, I was trying to I, mean, I can't think of the word um, symmetry. The, yeah, the symmetry. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to be more clever than that, and that's just where my brain goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the symmetry of this. You've got the square. You've got the odd shapes of the fruit. Yep. The yeah. What do you think about like from a from a symmetrical? I know creating tension in 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 a symmetrical photograph like this makes for a more successful photo. For example, we've got the guy the, the guys at the top and the bottom. Uh, right. So with just them in there, it would have been relatively symmetrical. But we have this person, I think it's female off to the left. Right. Which throws it off balance because there's no person off to the right to make it completely symmetrical. Does that make it better or does it add negative energy to it? What do you think? I think it makes it better. I, I think that, you know, perfect symmetry is rarely uh, ideal for an image. We, mm -hmm. Our eyes need something to bounce around to and look for. And, and we, you know, we need negative space and we need off balance a little bit so that our eye will flow around the image and keep looking and keep looking. If it's perfectly balanced, then you look at it once and you've kind of got it. Yeah. 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 I thought you were going to say that he should have content aware, fill that person on the left out. So that you just had the person at the top and the bottom. <laughs> no, I love it because that person is just chilling, right? Like they're not mm -hmm. actually doing anything. They're just yeah. watching and they're talking. So they're kind of like a visitor. So I can kind of see this story. Maybe they're a worker and they're on break or we don't know, right? Like, like, oh, maybe they're waiting for their fruit. I, I have no idea. Um, but that's where the story is. The story is really in the center of those three individuals. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shot though. I like it. I'm still curious about jackfruit. I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> find out what's special about the jackfruit? All right, Armando, thank you for that. Amy Brooks is up next. <clears throat> Amy says, shot this doing a photo essay of the Southwest Washington coast, custom made clam chowder at a hole in the wall spot in the fishing port of, these words, uh, <laughs> what is I'll let you, I'm, I'm just gonna let you know I'm it. trying I, I, my brain is like is it, do I pronounce that the Spanish way Iwako or Iwako anyway something Washington <laughs> she shot this with her Fuji <laughs> X-Pro2 at 21 millimeters let's take a look that looks delicious doesn't it yeah I love I love that shot there, there we did a road trip up the coast one time we drove up into Washington and I don't remember if it was in Washington or Oregon but we stopped for a little break and we we just walked down into the into this little port town and had some seafood and some clam chowder and it was the best it was the best clam chowder I've ever had ever and I'm obsessed with finding good clam chowder so 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that that pause that you heard from me was me reading the description of jackfruit, by the way. <laughs> I looked it up. It, let me read it real quick. It says, it's not every fruit that gets its own international symposium. Then again, the jackfruit is not your typical fruit. It's got a distinctive musky smell and a flavor that some describe as like juicy fruit gum. Hmm. Interesting. See, I was right. I knew it was something about the smell. So it's got a musky, musky juicy fruit. It's okay. got a musk. I don't know if I want anything that smells musky. I don't know. Um, no, but this shot is good. And when I when I look at this, I remember it took me a while to to actually eat clams because I remember at some point someone in my family. Yeah, we all. Yeah, I'm from a large family, so <laughs> my, I got two older brothers and two older sisters. And someone told me once that. You know, a clam, its entire body is in that shell, you know? So when you eat it, you're eating its intestines, its brain, its lungs, everything. You're eating it. And I was like, from that point forward, I'm like, I can't eat a clam. I can't. I don't want to eat lungs. I don't want to oh, eat. <laughs> you know? And then we got my brother by telling him that uh, crabs were in the arachnid family. So... <laughs> It's the nerdy, the nerdy Johnson family. <laughs> so you can imagine our Thanksgiving. Oh my God. <laughs> but this is a great shot. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is delicious. This is one of the shots you see on a menu or in like a, you know, a cooking school brochure or something. It looks, yeah. it's great. Yeah. I, I would, uh, I would love to see some of the, the blue pulled out of this though. Cause I feel like, you know, we've got this window light. Mm. that's coming in we got this the, the beer in the background we've got the warm light reflecting off the table the bread um and i feel like that cool light that's coming in should be warm <clears throat> i mean it's easy to grab that channel in see that, that is up. not what i would have expected if i was going to channel you on this photo you know what i would have said you were going to say i would have said that you know the the placement of the plate there's about you know there's a little bit too much space on the left side of the frame versus the right <laughs> side so i'd probably center the plate anymore or i might pull back or move that spoon a little bit so the spoon isn't isn't amputated and then the horizon maybe you know it looks like it's a little tilted to the right if you look at that beer <laughs> no so, you're wrong you got, so you got i would tilt it back a little bit so that the beer appears perpendicular <laughs> uh, i would have cropped down from the top because we don't need that much in the background. I would have tightened up the left so that it was balanced with the plate on the right. I would have done that. Mm -hmm. Loosen the spoon is okay because it's not it's not the main subject and it's not a human. So it's not a limb. Yeah. Cool. See, I'm getting better at channeling you. Yeah. See, yeah. one of these days we have to do a role reversal where I'm going <laughs> to wear a baseball cap backwards or a beanie and you're going to show up with my glasses on or something and a black T-shirt. And we're going <laughs> to do the show <laughs> as each other. We'll see how that goes. That could end badly, though. I don't know. <laughs> could, yeah. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. All right, Lamb. Lamb is up next. I, I, Lamb, I never say your last name because it's t it's two letters and uh, there are no vowels in there. I don't know how to how to pronounce it, so I just say Lamb because there's a vowel in there. Um, uh, Lamb says self service or food never comes. Customers sitting on small stools are waiting to be served. The famous delicious sister Curry May May is a local name for noodles. No tables are provided, so you hold the heavy ceramic bowl of may in a hot curry cup with one hand, while the other hand a pair of chopsticks until you finish eating. Alternatively, you have the option of taking the may to the coffee shop across the street where you can enjoy eating in comfort in contrast to the hot, spicy, and steamy environment around the stool. See? Whenever, whenever Lamb posts something, I feel he brings us to China. Right. He yeah. literally brings us there. And I feel like, oh, man, I want to go do that. I want to hold that that bowl of May and eat it like everyone else is right there. That is very cool. Yeah. Now, without that, without that story, it would be hard for us to know that. Right. Like, because yep. we don't we don't know. I mean, we have I, no idea. It just looks like a guy running with some with some sort of food stuffs in his hands. Right. Peter probably knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Peter's he, probably in that tent right now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there we go. Taking photos of the lady making the May or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Cool shot, man. Cool shot. Lamb, you need to do a, like a photo book essay. 
you know, like a day in the life or a weekend in the life of China. That would be fantastic. Yeah, too. that would be very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take us behind the scenes of, you know, all this stuff that we think we know, but don't really know. Show us, you know, show us what it looks like and what things are like there. All right. Moving on. Joshua Sommerfeld is up next. And Joshua says, nobody said it had to be human food. <laughs> Your attempts to get me to photograph human really things are foiled again. Uh, <laughs> took this at Repticon in Columbia, South Carolina. The vendor was kind enough to open the terrarium and let me come behind the table to photograph his tegu having lunch. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I think this this is one of my favorite shots. This is one of my favorite shots because A... It plays within the bounds of what the topic was. We said food, and he's 100% right. We never said human food. We never specified the kind of food. Um, and frankly, I'm surprised some people didn't take it to the extreme of what food is, right? Because <laughs> most things could be considered food, even oxygen for plants, right? Uh, no, actually, plants consume carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. I don't know, yep. one of those. Um, but no, I like this one because it plays outside of the box, and it's disturbing. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> what, what do you think yeah you know right there joshua just did a little fist pump when you said disturbing yeah yeah he's going for disturbing i know <laughs> if you would, I, really I, wanted I, to be I, disturbing you would put a spider in the mouth you know or something oh yeah no no that that big body and those those legs with those little hooks i don't know what that thing is but um yeah no this is this is great because really what it is to me it's like this portrait of this lizard's head he's looking at you and then oh it, because it's also because it's darker right the bug or the insect or whatever it is he's eating is darker so we don't see it right away we have to look for it and to mm -hmm. me that's what makes it even better mm -hmm. if it was lit the same as the head of the lizard then then it wouldn't create that depth or that mystery yeah but it definitely does so. I want to know how Joshua was able to get this lizard to smile like that, though. That's he's eating. The lizard's eating. <laughs> he's like, yeah, and I'm cold blooded, man. This is this is my meal for the week. This is all I need. <laughs> no, this is cool. This is one of my favorites, Joshua. Good job, man. All right, moving right along. All right. Next up is Peter Levshin, the man, the legend. Peter Levshin. Uh Canon 5D3, 24 to 70 in Bhutan Meat Market. You point at what you want, or you point at what you want them to cut off. They do. You pay. No refrigeration. Lots of flies. But they drop off when you cook the meat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I became no a thanks. vegetarian for the 10 days in Bhutan. <laughs> I would have too. <laughs> oh, man. You saw my post in there about what flies do when they land yeah. on your food, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to repeat it for the no, audience? No, let's not read that. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't. Let's just say, have you ever seen the movie The Fly with Jeff Goldblum? Imagine that, but smaller and happening in like three to four minutes. So just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, what do you think of the shot? You know, it's a great documentary kind of shot. And I think that I think for me, one of the, the treatment is really amazing um, because you really have to kind of look into the image. And then the, the guy on the left that's looking back at the camera that to me that makes the shot yeah is is him you know looking up and you know having that sort of very disinterested you know connection with you yeah yeah no i like it yeah the as a shot it is disturbing just because i mean even if you're not a vegetarian it's a disturbing shot um and if you don't know anything about flies it's a disturbing <laughs> shot but looking at it on the merits of the composition you're right the eye contact of the one guy in the in the lower left uh, makes the shot the yeah I was what do you think about the the headless guy on the right there does that bother I, you at all no no and actually I like the space even to the right of the post where you can see there's a human back there there's another human you know like you can't they, so they're like they're interacting and then there's a dog in the background yeah the dog is growing out of the guy's chest yeah, yeah, it's like the thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, no, I, I like that. I like that you can see back there. It masks the environment a little bit, but it shows us like there's something going on. There's communication, you know, like a market. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. This is a good shot. This is this is a very Peter Levshin, world traveler. <laughs> Telling you, Peter is Indiana Jones. Indiana yeah. Jones with a Sony. That's what, that's what he is. <laughs> Running around the planet solving crime and adventures. 
All right. Thanks, Peter. Next shout up is from James Glenny. And James says, as luck would have it, uh, this week themes lines up with my sourdough baking weekend. So I took some extra time staging a photo of one of the loaves. It's nice to have time to participate in these again. Yeah. Good to have you, man. Yeah. Let's take a look. Look at that. Again, yeah. another cooking school photo. Yeah, this is great. This yeah. is, you know, the composition is is wonderful. He's um, got the border on there. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the cut lines on the board. Mm -hmm. I just love that. I just love that symmetry of that. This is just, this is really, really good. If there's uh, one thing in this shot that you would clone out, yeah. what would it be? <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> You know, you can see it. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to channel you, man. <laughs> like, yeah, of course, it's a little round. Whatever that is, that washer divot on the bottom left. Yeah. Probably, probably would have cloned that out. Um, is it? And you're, you're. I mean, I know this is art, right? So it's subjective. But the tightness of the frame on the the loaf is that cool? Is that is that a, in your? Yeah. yeah, it's good, right? Yeah, I like it because the the loaf itself isn't the main character, you know, in this. It's it's sort of a secondary viewpoint. So the main character for me or the main hook is the pieces of bread that are cut off. Those are the pieces that I'm going to grab, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. what I what I do wish, though, is I wish that we could see into the loaf a little bit, you know? Oh, so like kind of cant off to the right a little bit and peek into it? Or, or cut on a slight angle uh. or with the loaf or something. I mean, I know it's not exactly the way that it might work on the board, but to see into the loaf would be nice. But mm -hmm. that's that's a minor point. Yeah. But I, I like it. I like it just like this. This is really, really good. Yep. Yep. Good shot. It's tasty. Now I it's want some, some of that sourdough. This is, uh, yeah, it was some olive oil and some, yeah. And Definitely. he used Capture One and Affinity Photo. Oh, yeah. Capture One and Affinity Photo. Nice. Very cool. All right, next shot up is from Eric Pronsky, and Eric says, Eclair at Sucre's Bakery. My wife and I stopped in this bakery in New Orleans for an afternoon snack. I shot this with 35 millimeter prime at F2.8 to defocus background. I wanted to, I wanted the image to give it the context, and because of the nice bokeh of this lens, I focused on the type in the chocolate piece on the top of the Eclair, which did leave much of the eclair out of focus. So this was a compromise between having the background defocused and not having more of the eclair in focus. Your thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So you focused on the type in there. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. And I, I see and what I he's really... saying though. Would you, would you have increased the depth of field to get the whole eclair in there along with the chocolate and let the background fall off? Or is it okay having sort of the front end and the back end of the eclair out of focus I, or yeah, I think kind it's of great. soft? I, yeah, no, I think it's fantastic because there's enough of the eclair that we can see what it is. If that mm -hmm. piece of chocolate was the only thing that was sharp and the eclair itself was soft, that would that to me would kill the image, right? Yeah. So we need to be able to see a piece of the eclair. And it's not so out of focus that we can't tell what it is, right? Yeah. Everything in there we can kind of tell. So I love that play between the focus and then the shallow depth of field. I also love the the cool tones in the background that are accenting or working with the warm tones of the eclair. So I think yeah. that's a really nice play in color. Yep. I would probably crop the tops of the tables off in the background though. Hmm. Just okay. because yeah, I can see that. Just, yeah. Cause they're not really adding to the, to the story here. Right. Well, there's two sides to that. Like the, the one side is, it's like, I really want to focus on the eclair. I don't want to be distracted by those tables. Cause I know what those are. The other is like, maybe this is an ad, <clears throat> you know, for that, that diner. And they want to see that there's tables back there. So mm -hmm. it's a it's kind of a mix for me, but okay. good play on color. Yeah, I dig it. I like it. Getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Eric. That was fantastic. Next up is Craig Stanfley. All right. Craig says, playing with my food, red creaming soda, jelly snakes, ham and cheese roll, and some coconut drop biscuits. Cookies in American. <laughs> nice. Biscuits or cookies that are very interesting. Uh, black and white was not an option. Look at him preempting you, Troy Miller. <laughs> I know. Well, I would just, I would just say, <clears throat> for the record, I did do a screenshot of this and bring it into Capture One and play with black and white. <laughs> oh, did you? I How did, did it look? How did it look? You know what? The lines, the stripes looked really cool, but the rest of it didn't work. I, uh, I mean, it was it was cool in black and white, but it just it didn't work with the food. The food just went all goofy. So he was right. He was right. 
<laughs> but I had to try. Yeah. Look at that. Ugh. That just does not. N this does not look healthy. The only thing healthy in this shot is the is the sandwich. Yeah. It, this is like dessert with with you know the sandwich in the middle of it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. That's a lot of sugar right there. What do you think? Uh, so yeah, I like the symmetry of this, and I like the you know obviously the geometrical lines, the vertical lines on the. I guess the tablecloth and the horizontal on the plate and the diagonal from the napkin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very intentional. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I love it. I probably would have cropped a little tighter, uh, top and bottom, you mm -hmm. know, so more of a horizontal image, which would have played into the sort of the arrow of the oh, napkin. Right. Yeah. Out, right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But I, I love how intentional this is and how purposeful everything is placed. And, you know, the lines are perfectly straight up and down and, and everything is, is placed super well. I really I really enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. I can just see him there just sort of like inching that napkin so that it's perfectly aligned with that red line. And yeah, that's the fun. That's the fun stuff in this photography. I dig it. All right. Craig Stanfley. Thank you, man. And Mark Harris. Last but not least, Mark Harris says, for the food topic at the county fair, Asian meat sticks on the grill. Shot this with Nikon D850, Tokina 28 to 80 at F2 or F2.8 at 5.0 and at 62 millimeters. Uh, he says the pork was really good. Let's take a look. Yeah, I can almost smell that right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you smelled that when you walked in the park. Uh -huh. <laughs> in the, yeah, you'd be like, I gotta go find that. Oh, Look that at that guy in the back with the with the New York Yankees hat on. He's yeah, like, you know, he has that day that smells good face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is really cool. You know, these these kind of images um, are can be really tough to pull off in a public space like that. Uh, you know, in the in the background, you got a couple people that are holding. <clears throat> some meat sticks you got a little kid he's hidden behind that post mm -hmm. and i wish i wish that this shot could have been moved a little bit to the left at least so we could see that little kid so we had some oh, context for not right. only the you know the the cooking like the food but somebody enjoying the food that's there yeah yep i love it we are so american too because you know in in japan these are known as it's yakitori right it's is that what it is yakitori or yakiniku yeah Yakitori is chicken on a stick. Yakiniku is is beef or other kind of meat on a stick. So I don't know what kind this is, but that's what it is. And it is delicious. This is like street food in Japan. Like you can't, it's like pizza food in New York. You walk by and get like the 15 day old pizza. This is, <laughs> this is, this is a fresh cooked you know, from a street vendor, they cook it while you wait and sort of roll the sticks around yeah, and yeah. hand it to you and you just consume it and just, yeah, you will just consume this until you can't consume anymore. It's very, yeah. very and, good. And there's so much environment going on in here too with this, with the sort of the smoke coming off and the fly, the fire yeah. and, yep. um, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a great environmental shot. It's great. Yeah. Everybody in this shot will smell like Yakiniku <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the day. Yes. <laughs> it's not yes. a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Love it. Cool. Very good shots. Nice crop this week, huh? Yeah, this is some good stuff. Yeah, very good stuff. Thanks everybody for submitting. Uh Troy Miller, what do you think, man? Do you have a do you have a favorite that you'd like to uh throw out there? There's a couple of favorites in there, but I have one on on the top of my head. So I have like I have like three I have like three favorites, but I'm leaning towards Joshua's. Yep. And look what um, I brought up. Wait, wait, look. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Right there. But I, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Armando and James uh, yeah. for their images because those those two were, were one of my favorites. And then Craig's, of course. And then there's Eric's and then Mark's and then not Peter's. And then Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Peter. <laughs> and Lamb's. Is Peter coming to F64? Yes, of course. All right, good, good. So we can we can chastise him in person. Love it. Yeah, and he's giving away he's gonna be giving away some uh, really cool books. Uh, for the drawing at the end of the day. So I don't know what he's bringing. He, it's always a surprise. So right, yeah, cool. there'll be some cool collectible stuff he's going to bring, I'm sure. Yeah, he'll, he'll bring along some some sacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Peter. Yeah, I know you're Peter, this, Peter bring some roo sacks with you, man. <laughs> bring a roo sack. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> be careful what you ask for. All right, man. Well, I know you got a ton of things to do today. Um, any parting shots before I let you go? 
No, no. Hey, thanks. Thanks for everybody who's coming out to F64. And for those who didn't come this year, we're going to do it again next year. You're going to hear about that. So great images, everybody. Uh, what's our theme for next year or next? Not next year. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Uh, next month is going to or not next week, ne next month. It's next week, right? Yeah. So next week's theme is going to be depth of field in yeah. honor of F64. Right, because everything's sharper at F sixty four. Right, yeah. so yeah, uh, yeah, depth of field. So whether you decide that you want to represent depth of field by showing extreme depth of field, you know, all you focus stackers out there know who you are. Um, right, right. Or if you want to show shallow depth of field, you know, where or show off some bokeh flare, you could do that. Yeah, yeah, some circles of confusion. Yep. You know, play around with it. Focus is your friend. So yeah, so so depth of field doesn't necessarily mean. I'm not saying shallow depth of field we're just saying represent the photo should somehow illustrate depth of field whether it's extreme or shallow or otherwise so you know be creative yep. show us what you can do yeah yeah cool man all right well i will let you go and i'll uh next time we do a critique f64 live will be in our rear view mirror man yes scary? that will be i'll be like you know how like they say the president ages over you know over his term <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll be like I'd be like, oh. <laughs> exactly. We should take a screenshot, count the wrinkles, and see if there are any <laughs> new ones that show up next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. All right. Well, we will see you. Uh, I'll see you actually in a couple days. I'll see yes. you. I'll see you Saturday. Very excited about it. All right. All right, man. You take care. Of everything. Right. Good luck. Good luck in this home stretch, and I'll, I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, buddy. See you guys. Peace. This is Twitter.